Hello, in this video we're going to learn a new note length and that note length is called the minimum. So can you say it back to me first of all? Minimum. Perfect. We, in the last video, we learnt about two different types of note lengths. We learnt about the crotchet, which is here, which is one beat, and we say ta. We also learned about the quaver and the quaver pair. Now the quaver here is on its own. So remember, it looks quite similar to the crotchet, but it's got a little flick at the side. And it's only worth half a beat. When we join two quavers together, they become a quaver pair. And a half and a half make one. And we say tete. So in this video, as well as learning a brand new note length, we're going to practice playing rhythms with all three of the different note lengths in. The one we're learning now is this one up here. And you might notice it looks very similar to the crotchet. But there's one difference. The one difference is, whereas the note head is filled in, it's solid, of the crotchet and the quaver, in the minimum it's hollow, it's empty, it's just a circle. It still has the stems that go up or down, but it is empty inside, like a circle. It is worth not one beat, but two beats. Now, some people find minims quite tricky to play because you don't play two beats. You don't do this because that's two crotchets. You have to hold the note for two beats which means you hit on the first beat and then you have to count in your head for the second beat. So some people find that quite hard. So a way of helping people I found is if we say ta, so we're going to clap on the first ta, ta, and we're hanging on that R and we're moving our hand so, so we can see, feel that second beat. Ta, ta. You have to internalise the beat, which means you have to feel the beat without playing it. And that's a really important skill in music. So sometimes today I'm going to get you to say ta, and sometimes I'm going to get you to not say it and just play the minimum. Because that is something that you're going to have to do. If you're playing the flute, you can't go ta while you're playing it. So it's important for you to begin to learn to do that. So... I'm going to give you a couple of rhythms with just minims to start off with, and then we'll mix it up. Okay, so first of all, just two simple minims. Let's try and clapping them out with the ta r and then without. Are you ready? After four, one, two, three, four. Ta, ta. Your turn. One, two, three. Four, ta, ta. Good. This time, let's clap them out, but let's not say ta. See if you can feel that beat inside. After four, it's hard for me to do this and hold the board at the same time, so I'm just going to do it with my hands. You can still do the hand action if it helps. One, two, three, four. Did you feel that second beat? Good. Now, I'm going to give you a couple of rhythms. I'm going to mix them all up together. So, try and remember. See if you can remember some of these. Start with an easier one. Okay. So, you've got your minim, your crotchet, and your crotchet. Your ta, ta, ta. After four, play on your own. One, I will tap the pulse on the board for you. But don't get distracted. I'm not helping you. This is just the pulse. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's try and clap it out together. I'll clap on the board. One, two, three, four. Ta, ta, ta. Okay. So it helps if you're doing the hand action. Let's try without saying ta. One, two, three, four. Good. Did you feel that, that second beat? Excellent. Let's give you a different one. There we go. 
We're doing really well. Let's see if you can go, oops, get all my coloured pens and stuff. This time, what have we got at the beginning? We've got a tete. So I'm not going to help you. Try and do it on your own first of all. Then we'll say it and clap it at the same time. And then we'll just clap it. After four. One, two, three, four. Very good. Let's try and clap it together and say it. One, two, three, four. Tete, tete, ta. Very good. This time, don't say it, just clap it. One, two, three, four. Good. I nod sometimes to help me feel that, that last beat. I hope you're um, all doing really well. I'm sure you are. Let's do two more, just to make us really confident. Let's do this one, shall we? Yes. Okay. Are you ready? After four. One, two, three, four. Good. Let's try and clap it out. Is it a ta? Is it a ta? Is it a tete? One, two, three, four. Ta, ta, ta. Good. Let's try without saying it this time. One, two, three, four. Good. Very, very good. You're doing such a good job. Let's do one more. Okay, a mixture of all three now. Think about whether you're starting with a tete, a ta, or a ta. Let's start with this one here. On your own first. One, two, three, four. Good. That one's quite hard. How did you get on? Let's say them together. So we've got tete, ta, ta. One, two, three, four. Tete, ta, ta. Good. Just without, just uh, without the words now, just with the claps. One, two, three, four. Perfect. Well done. What a great job you're doing. I think we'll finish there today. You've done a really wonderful job. I hope that you've enjoyed it. Again, if you would like to do even more... <clears throat> We have got some more slides on the PowerPoint with some minims and some practice ones as well. So feel free to have a go at that. And I'll see you next week. Bye bye.